Ok, ahí está aprendiendo. Ok, well this is all my brothers and American friends in the States and elsewhere speak English. Well, we're here, we're at the point. It's been a year working on this and uh, building it. But we're here and uh, I'm going to explain to you the system and what we've done and we've done some things that aren't done elsewhere. Ok, we are running uh, oxygenation uh, into it. It's the same equipment here. Okay. Here, uh, as you use in, a, in an aquarium to put oxygen in, okay, we put, we, I put a large one in there with three, with three lines, three, uh, you know, uh, tubes that are going in there, and it's putting oxygen into the water. Okay. We also are running uh, the Hydrologic, which is the same company that we use for the reverse osmosis system, and these these are ultraviolet um, uh, filters. Okay, and they basically we're going there to kill your bad microbes and the water runs through there. These two systems runs 24-7. They don't get shut down. Okay? They come out from here and they come right into here. Okay? That's something that a lot of people don't do uh, in, uh, in uh, hydroponics. And, you know, I keep reading, watching videos on the net and we're the people in hydroponics and what they're doing, etc. And I, I try to pick everything that that's, that's incredible and, and that we can adapt here. Uh, you know, uh, at times it may not be necessary to do oxygen injection. I can't, it may not. I don't know. You know, it, it really can't be proven one way or another, but hey, it ain't going to hurt it. So let's just have it running. So here we got an EC meter. This, this meter um, uh, has two probes going into the that, approximately 265 gallon uh, water tank. And uh, we just filled it with nutrient, okay, because. The last time we filled it was on Wednesday, and it made it till this morning, and that was it. Uh, and that's only doing the, the the first project. Okay. This week we're going to be doing the transplant into the second project. Probably Wednesday or Thursday we'll start. When that happens, this tank of water will probably only last two days. Okay. Uh, so we won't get four days out of it, which is fine. I mean, it's nutrient water going into the tanks, and a lot of stuff affects it, like uh, you know the temperature. When it's real hot, the plants are going to soak up a lot more. The, 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 the coconut uh, fiber is going to soak up more, etc. And we, we use more nutrients. That's fine. Okay. Uh, and and this is the main nutrient tank. We've got three backup tanks. Okay. We got one here, one right beside it, and then we got two up here at the top. Okay. 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 So we've got two backup tanks. Okay, of reverse osmosis water, because it takes 24 hours to fill up one of these things with reverse osmosis, and we've got a, a, a commercial grade that can do um, uh, pass up to a thousand gallons of water. But you know, in reverse osmosis, you don't get a thousand gallons. We might end up with about 350 to 500 gallons of actual RO water. Okay, and here, here we have is the uh, the brain. This is the computer system that totally controls the irrigation uh, as to each zone, okay? Uh, in the first project here, we have four zones. Zona 1, okay, is right here, okay? And then we have Zone 2, 3, and 4. Each one has approximately about 56 towers, okay? And so in other words, we've got about 220 towers here. We're going to count them this week to make sure exactly what the count is. And uh, it'll be producing anywhere from 8 to 10 pounds minimum of tomatoes. So we on the low side of 8 to 8 pounds per tower. We're looking at 1,600 pounds a week of tomatoes, 4,800, let's just say 5,000 pounds of tomatoes by 3,000 pesos per pound. In other words, it's $5,000, okay, in, in dollars uh, out of this area alone. You could not do this in, 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 in traditional uh, or, organic uh, farming. Couldn't do it. Okay, the main cost here is getting the system done. Okay, because once it's done, uh, there's the I mean, this system you just don't replace PVC tubing planters. These these things will be around, you know, the planters will be around here forever, so to speak. Okay, so th this is how this all works, and and the uh, and I'm going to go ahead and get it to run again. Okay, I'll open it up. Okay, I'll open it up. I'm going to run it again. I'm going to run it again because while we were filling the tank, we lost four, um, 
four uh, times said it should have gone on 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and 10 o'clock. And so it didn't get any nutrients at that time period. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a soaking, uh, etc. And it'll be fine. won't hurt it at all. And, uh, and then we go from there. Uh, 